Here's how you can have custom auto playlists inside Traktor Pro 2. Now, Traktor doesn't have the smart playlist functionality of Serato or Rekordbox DJ, for instance, but it does have auto playlists of a sort, and we can take those for our own use and use them for more interesting things than Traktor intended us to use them for. Say you play in a club, and sometimes you play the warm-up. If you're lucky, you get to play the peak time set, and you also regularly play the back room of the club. And you want to organize your music with playlists that auto-populate with tracks that you've tagged warm-up, peak time, or back room. Well, there is a way to do it. Let's take a look. Now, actually, you already have some of these. Artists, releases, labels, and genres are actually smart playlists. These functions here are directly affected by these. If I label something here, if I change that chill out track to something different, like lounge music, then that's gonna appear as a new genre down here. There you go, lounge music, one track. So. Let's look at what else we've got here. Well, we've got artists, so we certainly don't want to mess with our artist playlist, but we also have releases and labels. Now, releases means album. Most DJs don't use the album column in their software at all. And labels is the record labels. And these are also smart playlists. So now you can see the opportunity we have here to steal these for our own use. So I'm going to show you how to do it now. So we're going to go to all our tracks. I'm going to highlight all the tracks and I'm going to choose one of these labels. I'm going to choose releases. So this is the album information column. And I'm going to right click, hit edit, and I'm just going to delete everything in the releases column. Click on it and put something in here, anything, a space will do. And that's now all being deleted. So there's now nothing in the album column for my whole collection. So now I've got 748 tracks, which is the total number of tracks in this collection, which are labeled nothing. So now we can go and label them what we want. So let's go to all our tracks here. And let's just say the first like chunk of these are gonna be the tracks that I tend to play in my back room. So in the album or release column, I'm gonna write back room. So now I can hit release here. There we go, there's all the backroom tracks that I selected. Let's take another chunk of tracks now then. Let's call these peak time. And finally, let's take the rest of them and I'll call these warm up. So now look, in releases here, I've got backroom, peak time, and warm up. These are smart playlists. Were I to take a track out of the backroom area, it would disappear from this number of tracks here. And when I add new music, as soon as I label it in this column, it will appear in here. So I can go to play a warm up set, hit my warm up folder, and now within that folder, I can organize by BPM, I can organize by key or genre, and I can quickly find what I want to play, but it's an auto playlist. I don't have to remember to put tracks in there every time I add them to my library just because it's a warm up track uh, and I need to do that manually. So you don't have to tie yourself to warm up, back room, bar, main set, or whatever. You can use whatever you want here. You can have instruments. A lot of DJs like to have their piano, saxophone, vocal, uh, instrumental, uh, bongos, whatever the instrument is that's part of your set and something that you like to know, you can quickly get to all the tracks with that particular element in them. You can do that in there as well. Uh, and this is something that is sorely missing on Tractor. Hopefully in Tractor 3, they're gonna make it like smart playlists in iTunes and in other DJ software. But for now, there's a great little workaround for you there. Please share, follow, do all the good stuff so we can carry on making these for you. But this has been a Tractor tip here on Digital DJ Tips.